We're back on the landscaping business and the plan today is to build this out. And so we have one shop and we, we're, we're kind of small right now, obviously, but there's some other building packs that are pretty darn cool, like these, they're tan and brown shops. And I was thinking, let's kind of build out this compound a lot more. Now you guys are probably like, squad, you're Dude, you mow like two lawns. You don't need that big. But to be honest, with landscaping and mowing, it's pretty fun going and mowing yards like these and knocking them out. But I think another fun feature is actually building the compound out in your shops and stuff and your equipment setup. We're also really close to 1 million subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. Who knows? Maybe we don't hit it. But I just wanted to say ahead of time that I don't necessarily have a crazy big giveaway lined up. I have a crazy big giveaway that I plan to do, but some things have delayed it. And later this week, I'll know for sure what I'm gonna do for the giveaway, whether I'm gonna do this giveaway or this giveaway, cause there's multiple options I had in mind. So it won't be on time of a million subscribers, but I owe you guys big time and I owe you guys with a big giveaway. So that's gonna happen. Just can't say when exactly, but yeah. I'm as pumped as ever, getting close to a mill and hopefully hitting a mill. So I'm gonna jump up to heaven and we're gonna get to work quick and I'll explain everything from there. Okay, so this is what we did. I wanted to go with a lot more vegetation around the front, spice things up a little more, and I think we could do more and go with more tree. <laughs> As you can see in the back there, that was my testing area to check out trees. Now somebody's gonna be driving along the interstate there and be like, what the heck is that? There's just like a bunch of trees over there. But I went with bushes, trees, and then mulch around bushes. We can do more, and this thing needs to be mowed. We need to mow around here. And then we went with bush, more bushes and landscaping around there. And then I added two more shops because we're going to go bigger and eventually, eventually expand. Now these are pretty plain, it seems like, but once you go inside, there's some cool features. This is my first time being in the shop too. So this could be kind of a shop of working on different stuff. As you can see, we got this big door, which I didn't make a driveway for. And then we have a loft up here that you can go in and we can just store stuff up here. And then we have a garage door that comes out over here, door, garage door. It's perfect. Now this is just gonna be cold storage. Say like we're in winter time, then you put your mowers in here, or say we're in summertime, you put your snow blowers, snow plows, stuff like that in here. It's got sliding doors. Man, the animations and sounds with everything's on point. Now back here, I kind of made a messy area cause it can't be all perfectly clean. So back behind these sheds, I wanna almost have it to where we, sc we store like landscaping supplies and like dirt and boulders and stuff like that over here. Speaking of boulders, I got an idea. I want to go, there's a place around town, there's a couple local farmers that have tons of boulders that they, and rocks they collect in their fields that I want to go buy, but we don't have a dump trailer. I can fix that because there's this giant dump trailer for sale a couple counties away that we're going to go pick up. Trailers detached. Now check this out. We got a ways to go to the, there's this guy, he has two dump trailers for sale. One is giant, but could be possible if we don't load it full. And the other is, seems like it'll be absolutely perfect for what we need. So. I'll kind of let you guys decide. I think I know what you guys are going to choose. Keep in mind, this is only an F-250, so it's not a one ton. If we got real heavy with the load, we could put airbags in the back. That is right. We're back at the Ford dealership. Now, it says tractor supply, but this is where Ford just keeps, over, keeps their access trucks and trailers, as you can see. So they took over the tractor supply. They got to change out the got to change out the logo and stuff still. Of course, they got the big techs up there. I don't know how in the heck you could even get that up there, but check this out. Here's what they have for dump trailers. I called up my salesman, Rod, and he said, swing on back to the lot and I can check out the trailers. Okay, check this out. Here's my two dump trailers. Now, aluminum would be cool. It, like, I'm trying to think, if you load this with dirt or just concrete or anything heavy, could the F-250 handle her? I don't know. But then we got a regular dump trailer. As ramps, 14 foot dump trailer, seems perfect. I don't know, it's tough. And first of all, would aluminum, if you're dropping boulders and stuff, would aluminum hold up? I don't know. And it even has the 10,000 pound axle, so it's got dual tandem axles. So we could hold a lot of weight in here. The only thing is, can the truck handle that much weight? Well, I was talking to Rod on the phone. Well, I talked to him quick. He said that these are almost the same weight of trailers because this one's aluminum. 
they're pretty much the same weight. The only thing is, if you load this full, you're kind of screwed. It'll be too much weight for the F-250 if we load it full, but we could always upgrade trucks. And so I was like, okay, we'll take it then. That makes sense. If these are the same weight, I'll take it. You never know when you're going to need a giant trailer. So this one even comes with ramp, so we can load a skid loader in the back. We going into this, I knew, okay, we got her connected back here. We had the gooseneck already installed, but going into this, I figured this would be a trailer we buy in five years from now and we'd get this dump trailer. But check this out. Aluminum ramps and... Here, let me lift up the ramps. I do just want to say this trailer was made by David Fructuso, so I've been linking a lot of his mods and his live streams when he's making trailers. So if you want to learn how to mod like trailers and stuff like that, I'll link his channel down below. He was the one that made this. He makes tons of trucks too. I swear, we go from like a small mowing company that's mowing grandma's yards to just a giant landscape company in like a day. We'll get on the interstate here and head back. Coming on. And that is our exit. LA, here we come. I'd like to load the skid steer up and go pick up some boulders. That way, we can have them here and also use them as decorations in front of the shop. So, I got the ramps down. All we gotta do, fire up the skid steer, load her up. Open that door, because I can't get out that way. I got the trailer in front of it. Okay, we're gonna attach the bucket here. Pull in here, lift her up. Now I gotta be careful not to pop wheelies. I think we'll be fine. There we go, keep going. There we go, perfect. Well, we kind of ran into a problem. The bucket won't fit, but the skid steer does, so that's good. The bucket's just a little large. If we get a bucket that's the size of the tracks of the skid steer, so more narrow, it'll fit fine. Okay, first task with the new dump trailer, if we can unload this. There we go. There's a couple different landscape decoration rocks that were for sale on Craigslist from a local farmer that pulled them out of the field next door. So I bought them and we're gonna load them up. There we go. Keep going. This is actually working a lot better than I thought. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is put all these rocks in the front of the trailer. That way we can still load the skid steer up and haul everything back in one pass. Don't tip. There we go. Keep going. Okay. I think we're at max reach. What's kind of nice about this bucket though? Check this out. There we go. <laughs> Did you guys see the movement of the trailer and truck? It's kind of cool. Let's grab some more. Ah, only two. That's okay. We have a full load. Keep her easy. Don't tip. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, rocks are loaded up. Skid steer is loaded up. Hurry, right, rock and roll. Okay, now if I have to, a spot to dump these rocks, I think it's going to be behind the shop over there. The kind of area where I made it all muddy and grassy. Yeah, we'll put it over there. Go down. There we go. Now I'm really curious to see how this trailer is going to unload back here. Back up. Okay, right there. She's dumping. Here we go. Come on. Hey. There we go. I love how it shakes. The rocks literally shake the trailer and everything. Ah, yeah. This is a cool trailer. Quick little side note, what's kind of fascinating about this trailer is here, let me wait till it's all down. But watch this. Watch as I throw a rock in there. It shakes the trailer and you can actually see that rock go in there. That is a cool feature and even shakes the truck up there. I mean, that is pretty darn realistic. So now what I want to do, grab the skid steer, move a couple boulders out front, line a couple boulders right here. Oh, look perfect. Okay, let's dive into the pile. Yep, there we go. Okay, two's good for now. And dump right there slowly. Scooch that one up. I kind of want to, what I kind of want to do is I'd like to put them more by the doorstep, I guess. So I kind of made a mistake. We'll scooch this over and then push them in more. We'll grab two more and then we'll call it. Okay, one of them fell out and then one I'll put right there. And we're done. Shop looks a lot cleaner. Anyways, guys, this is going to be the end. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button. Hey, I will see you guys for the next one. Thanks, guys.